There you are. Okay, who are you? I am Robert Isaac with the uh, Occupy the Banks, Occupy Portland. Yay! So um, I just thought I would take the opportunity to find out more about Occupy the Banks. We've done this before, but let's let's get some more info. And I'm in the meantime, I'm going to see if I can raise this a little bit more, but probably not. But anyway, so yeah, tell me more. Um, so Occupy the Banks, we go out to banks all over the city and we hold signs and we pass out flyers about moving your money and all the evil things the banks do. And we get some pretty good feedback um, from people. We tell them to move their money to community banks or credit unions. And um, sometimes anonymous people chalk the sidewalk. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that sounds like an independent and, uh, action. What do you yeah. call that? Anyway, yeah. Okay, so. That's about the basics of what we do. All right, so Chalky Pie, right? Yeah. <laughs> do you bring little girls with you to make little yeah. bees? We oh, need, really? No. <laughs> uh, we, we, should, we need to do a hopscotch. That would be like, we're doing, we're playing hopscotch, you're really going to arrest us for playing hopscotch. Yeah, that'll make the papers. Yes. Fires so, menacing with hopscotch. Yeah, make America hates hopscotch. Yeah, make America. <laughs> nice, nice. That little jump rope going yeah. on. So, uh, okay, so you mentioned meetings. Are they open to everybody? Or yeah, you... open to anybody. Okay, when are they? Uh, and where? Okay. The next one is October 9th, 7 to 9 p.m. at the First Unitarian Church. Um, in the basement, or uh, they'll have it on the uh, the board. It's usually upstairs somewhere. The usually. board? You mean like out front? It says or when you go when you go into the uh, by the reception desk. Oh, okay. And they usually have okay. a thing that says all their what they're doing that day. Okay. So it should be okay. Good. Okay. And um, do you have an online thing? Yes, there is a website, occupythebanks.org, I think, or. Occupy the Banks PDX, I think. Also, there's a Facebook page, Occupy the Banks PDX. Okay. Check out those. Do you do Twitter? There is a Twitter, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure. What is your is. Twitter name public? It is. Okay. Uh, What's your Twitter name? Because then we'll find theirs. Um, if you don't know it offhand. My Twitter name is JarmanKel88. Okay. J A R M I N. M M E N. M E N. K E L L A. A E L L A A. Okay. So if you check out that Twitter name, you're going to have to rewind this video and watch it later because you're going to find the Occupy the Banks Twitter. So, um, yeah, I was really hoping to do something uh, that you guys kind of hatched. Is that something that we can talk about, the, the idea of it, about maybe getting that mobile thing going that Tequila was talking about, or are we premature? Um, you talk about the what we would like to do. Yeah. Yeah. What What would be your vision? Hey, viewers, come chat with us. Anyway. Um, I would like to see it just move from bank to bank uh, every day. And, um, what are you thinking of? Just every day occupation or? Yeah. Too. Okay. Um, well, actually, um, we would like to go mobile for a week or so. At least some of us felt like that would be a good idea. When it gets out of hand, when people are camping around us, but not part of us, and they do whatever, you know, whatever they do, um, the, the cops are going to crack down. And I think it would be really good since we're being set up. We know that they're being invited. Like, people have been dropped off at the site, you know, uh, in vans, saying they heard it was the place, you know. It's like, it's a little suspicious, right? So it happened at the camp, it happens here. And the idea is, okay, if they're really going to turn it on, and cops watch this, so I guess they'll hear me, but that's good. Um, if, if they're really going to turn on this, let's stink up 
with as many you know people with these problems and disruption if we're not there we're protesting going around the banks daily we can let it all blow up and the cops will get the complaints just as planned the only thing that's not in the plan is the fact that Occupy won't be there if you try to say that we are we have video evidence that we weren't and you can take your little set up and shove it that's that's our plan and that would go really nicely with working you know we have those carts and we are moving them one way or another if they move out on the 29th they're gonna go in the storage so that would be you know this month so be a full month before one of your other actions that maybe you could use them for or something but Occupy the banks is is and always welcome to have and use those carts and I think I will somehow get either a trailer or build a trailer and I'm gonna look into that really hard and we'll make a special we pay just for that and I'll tweet it out and that trailer is the solution to our problems because we'll park it here at City Hall or the bank action or whatever we do you know any action we'll park it there and load the carts up on there at night and for free parking at night and then during the day we take them off it's narrow enough because the carts are narrow so two by two we only need 40 inch wide by 78 trailer got to hold a thousand pounds because God knows what people are gonna stuff in there and we'll just take the empty trailer and move it down to where drum circle is and I walk there I park there all the time what's drum circle drum circle what's drum circle you should watch visual TV and you can actually watch the drum circle or listen it's actually one of the funnier videos because 99 is like going you guys better chat and like they're not chatting he's like okay this is what mutes like and then he presses from here anyway drum circle is just like it sounds under the bridge if you drive over the Hawthorne but you're staying in the center and you drive to the left down you'll run into it and Water Avenue area I believe now which day of the week is it is it Saturday maybe I'll find out but yeah we should find out so people just bang on the drums um, there's usually a occurrence of somebody trying to uh, juggle fire and the cops coming and stopping it you know uh, yeah it, it looked it looked pretty fun I, I've been there once I took the camera and uh, you know filmed some people who wanted to be on camera it's really cool sound came out good 99 took it down there and you see lights because it's so dark when he, he was down there you know it was so dark you couldn't see but you could hear it was really nice so yeah we should find out what drum circle is before I shut off the camera because some people will be like oh anyway yeah so so that that's the idea is we we just park it here uh, at night with the carts on it free parking at night till 8 a.m. the next day and later on Sunday and then on the day wherever we are we take them out put them in the outside the pedestrian use zone area manned by enough people per cart doing their demonstration out of the cart I told you what my idea was for how you could use a cart oh yeah the puppet show you can actually sit in it and mommy why did we lose our home I thought that they said we'd save money if we refine it anyway you can actually hide inside the cart they are big and they they can you know carry a person's weight no problem I think that'd be hilarious anyway just don't lock the cart if somebody's in there practice safe cart so anyway yeah so if possible let's ask around to get the trailer or get a person who has property because you don't have to have them all you don't have to have all four you probably want the info one with the special pinup board um, but you could take some of them and stash it on it's someone's house it's closer than where we're about to take them on the 29th so you have to get that ready before the 29th or you, or we have this big moving ordeal gas is expensive so yeah you have now until the 29th to grab a couple carts if you want and uh, I know that 
there are a lot of demonstrators here who are interested in protesting the bank and then there's people who periodically come in sleep do their thing and don't care and try to drink our coffee and whatever I mean we try to be kind but sometimes they're disruptive and so it's good to kind of freshen up a little bit and if we take every protester and we just do this really cool it'll be good for us too because we'll kind of get you know being mobile you can kind of get a little bit having your stuff together you know I think we'll have our you know it's time for new cops because it's a different block I don't know we're gonna say the same thing we say every day that would really put the banks on edge I think they could come at any moment yeah. we're not gonna tell you which one we're going to yeah I know I know yeah uh, I would Hey, they saw that. They know where you are. What? Where am I? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell because you're in front of an illegal campground. Oh, of course. That's oh. really funny. I never thought about the fact that we could be saying that that's applying to them. You're camping out in there making a lot of money and not doing your job. Yeah. Illegal campground. We're going to seize all your possessions if you're more than wingspan away. <laughs> but uh, the banks really goes hand in hand with the whole houseless situation. I mean, they were the ones putting the people out on the street, so... That's who we really need to protest it. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you'll have uh, you'll have a lot of people who are getting trained in how to talk to cops. Did you see our booklet? No. Let me show you our booklet. I want to watch the shock and awe. So this will be exciting. This is this is live. Okay. So over at the vigil, you will see a purple book. Pick it up. <laughs> you can't actually pull it. Yeah, you can't actually pull it away, unfortunately. Let's see if I can do a flashlight. Ooh, there's Robert reading. The report concludes the use of criminal enforcement to punish homeless people fails. For several reasons, such measures never address the underlying causes of homelessness. So take take a look at, at what you got there. You got the criminalization of homelessness on rise in U.S. cities. Yeah. Um, homeless have right to reclaim property. Oh, that's cool. And the sidewalk long line of circuit says Los Angeles can't treat personal belongings or homeless individual like trash. Hey, guess what? What? Uh, that applies to all cities in America. Really? Yeah, oh, Skid yeah. Row won that victory. This is a sidewalk law that mentions how everything that the cops say that we're doing uh, is only applicable outside uh, in, in the pedestrian use zone. So they can't abate a nuisance, they can't call it a structure, they can't say that you have to be within wingspan of your possessions. I can't just seize your stuff. Have, uh, to, so yeah. That, have and, you had to put that into practice yet? Oh yeah, every morning yeah. when the cops come, they, they are told by City Hall, they look like they're getting really tired of this because they have actual calls to go to. Yeah. And you can watch, there's one called Interview with Officer Crooker, where you can actually see the officer like going back over to City Hall after we talk him away and coming back with something new. And then going, look, the only reason you're getting attention is because you're in the pedestrian, you're in the, the loading zone. And I go, well, I'll move out of the loading zone. He's like, thank you. I just want to leave. <laughs> it was so funny. He's really, I, I don't know. It looks like the cops are getting really annoyed by the cities, well, treating them like janitors of, of people. So, anyway. Um, so this... Uh, you know, somebody will have the combination for you if you ever uh, are needing this book. Jack gave us the documents. He also had one called the 10-year plan to end homelessness. <laughs> it was the 10-year plan. It's really, really thick. I should read it. But That's awesome. Yeah, so hopefully the public will learn from that. I'm going to turn off the flash because it's horrible. Anyway, um... So, anything about this or any other Occupy events that uh, is on your mind? Um, you went to court today. You got almost all the way there. Is that right? Oh, uh, 
yesterday I went down to the courthouse and then I'm trying to figure out, oh wait, where's the room? Oh, I go to the event page and it's been postponed to October 5th. And I'm like, damn. October 15th, right? 15th, sorry. Okay. So, um, I guess uh, we have a flyer and I'm sure that there's going to be a new flyer because the people doing these flyers are really on the ball. But come October 15th, rescheduled October 15th. So, um, uh, there's a couple things at the vigil that you might not have seen yet. I have made contact with Shower to the People and told him how much we love him and what they're doing. He's independent and he has a mobile shower and those that's the uh, awesome. location and times. People get hooked up with uh, fresh underclothes and just a lot of great stuff. And then uh, some maps of Portland if, if somebody needs one and street uh, roots um, Rose City Resource. Anyway, yeah, somebody brought in a giant, I guess, Chinese Buddha. It's Buddha, yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's other things that are kind of nice that have not been stolen. But uh, one of the more significant to a lot of people items here, and I, I can't tell you which gods or what it's called, but it's Hindi. It's gone. Lingam and Loni or something like that. Hmm. Anyway, it was a fertility and, and two gods kind of thing. And it was this little sculpture. It, it walked away. That yeah. Yeah, but you know, but see, now there's a um, prayer rug. Here's another one. Look at this. I wasn't sure if that's what it was, but I did see a. Uh, what is it? Looks like a, a prayer rug. It, it has yeah. a. Let me see if I can turn on the flash again. It's too bright for this. Dang it. Anyway, you can see though. Yeah. See, it's got like a mecha type thing on it. I can kind of see now that it's out of the dark light. Yeah. So, just... yeah. Anyway, um, so that's new. So if, if somebody is Muslim, or, yeah, is that right? Practices Islam? Or how do you say that? Muslim? Uh, I get confused with the nationality and the religion, so pardon me. Yeah, practices Islam, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, there you go. That is waiting for you. Along with this really nice uh, for for other faiths prayer bench, kneeling bench. That's been here from the beginning. So anyway, that's what's new with the vigil. And uh, so, are you? Do you think that you can go on the fifteenth? Um, what time is it? Do you know? Well, you know, those were nine a.m. But it could be early. nine or it could be one. We don't know if they reschedule. Uh, that information will be, I betcha, we'll get that in a new flyer. What, what time do you have? Do you know what time it is? Uh, no, my phone's not working right Actually, I know exactly how to find out what time it is. Because I, I, I can tell you when we're going to know. It's 9.19, and there is a possibility that Dan who is one of the Jameson Square arrestees, will uh, will be here. And so, possibly, Visual TV at 11 or midnight may have that announcement. But OPDX Info on Twitter will tell you, actually, I just realized. That that's where I'm getting my info. But, unfortunately, most likely, I will not be able to go to the court support because I have to work at that time. So. Right. Well, I think uh, I think they'll know that you're there in spirit since you tried to go this yeah. last one. <laughs> so, uh, right on. Well, I'm going to head out. I should have been home yeah, a while ago. Me too. Cool. Well, okay, bye, you guys. Um, you'll see 99, I'm sure. Bye-bye. <laughs>